Good morning. Let's make a single-handed battle axe. Oops, what's that? Oh, I never let my political views be known. Um, here's all you're going to need. A hammer handle. A uh, saw blade that you don't need anymore. A couple of uh, carriage bolts. And uh, here's the shape of the axe. And the only tool you're going to need, I have a plasma cutter that I'm going to cut these up with. Uh, you could use an angle grinder and just cut slots around this. It would be a lot harder uh, doing it that way. I have done it that way before I had my plasma cutter, but... Uh, I'm fixing to use my plasma cutter to do this, and that's really the the hardest part of this job is cutting them uh, arcs out. Yeah, that? No, that was my plasma cutter. Uh, okay, there we go. Cut out. I'm going to put this on my grinder and clean it up, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, I got it uh, shaped, <laughs> for lack of a better word. And, uh, you know, you could have cut this up with a, uh, with a oxyacetylene torch as well. And I was wrong about that's the only tool you're going to need. Uh, I uh, put this on my bandsaw to make it wide enough to, to fit this in. Uh, you'll see in a minute. Let me, maybe I can do this one handed. Come on, Brad. Now I need to drill a couple holes uh, all the way through this and I want to miss that big hole there so I'll have to drill it up here and down here. Uh, also I'm going to take a angle grinder with a sanding disc on it and uh, sand all that paint off so this will look shiny and new like the rest of it. Okay, got my holes drilled. I got this thing cleaned up both sides. Now, put it on here, and put these bolts through here, and then I'm going to have to uh, trim the end of this off, but let me get this uh, put together first. Oops. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to put paracord, I'm going to wrap it in paracord here. I'm going to stain this, and I'm going to put some clear on it. Uh, I'm going to stain it probably dark oak. And uh, I'm going to... Uh, Cut them off, round them off on the grinder, make them look old, or at least not stand out so much. But uh, what I generally do is before I tighten these up real tight, I, I give them a few cranks every couple hours, you know, and then come back and get a quarter turn, another quarter turn, another quarter turn, and it sucks these down into the wood pretty good. And uh, you never have to do it again after you do that. So uh, let me let this set. i got some friends coming over. And uh, after they leave, I'll come back up, put a few more turns on this, and then finish this up. And then tonight I'll put a uh, paracord handle on it. All right. Two more coats of clear. And uh, tonight I will paracord wrap that handle. And you know what? I think I'm going to give this away for my 30,000 subscriber giveaway. Just a little novelty. All right, we're not done. Two more coats and then paracord. I'll, uh, when I get it inside and it's all dry, I'll show you the handle. All right. What I'm going to do now is put a paracord handle on it. Fin. Fin. Finished. Done. Completed. Okay. Little project done.
uh, last night about 9, 9.15 or so, I had come out and I turned my, uh, my LED lights on. And uh, they operate off that battery there. And one, one solar panel. So they've been on about 10 hours now. Just like that, all night long, about 10 hours. And uh, that's good to know. Good to know. You know, that's a good question. Um, I have, uh, I, you know, <laughs> I don't remember exactly what that. When she wants were, attention, uh, she gets up here and she puts her face on mine and she. And actually, after that show, that night, she wants me to kiss her and make over her. You good girl, I love you so much. Yes, I do. I just love my baby girl. Yes, I do. She's a funny dog.